Hi everyone, Tate Smith with Regen Stewardship. Uh, I want to show you another feature of the Pasture Map app that we like to use uh, to manage our grazing data. Uh, in this video we're going to look at the visual display of recovery days based on our grazing data. The system keeps track of that, shows us how long it's been since we've been in the pasture, how long those pastures have been rested. Uh, and so in order to look at the map here we've we've already logged in looking at the ranch you can see our different pastures there the different objects we've placed it in our, in the other video that we did uh, and the numbers here presented in each pasture are actually the recovery days or rest days since since it was last grazed in order to change utilize these numbers and look at uh, the the numbers visually with some different colors we're going to come over to our toolbar on the right hand side of the screen fifth button down data layers open that up uh, you can see these different data layers recovery days animal days per acre uh, grazing days forage photos uh, for this video we're going to we're going to look at recovery days and so first we need to set uh, our guidelines here and so this left box is the minimum on your gradient uh, so for this application we're going to do this as the minimum uh, rest days post grazing which on this particular ranch we want to set at 180 this would be your max uh, that you want to see so anything at this number or greater uh, is is going to the, be the max amount of rest you want to see a pasture get for this exercise we're going to do 365 days so we don't want to see any pastures on our ranch not grazed within the year in this example and we don't want to come back to any pasture after it's been grazed for 180 days we set our colors uh, red for don't come back on the low green is good to graze because we're past our 180 and we're before the 365 and high end we're going to set as orange because those pastures need attention um, we need to get some cattle in there to get them grazed down because we're past our max rest window come back over to our map now you can see that these pastures in red all are below our 180 mark uh, so we we want to wait until the pastures are past that 180 and until they turn green to come back into them you can see we've got a number of pastures here that are green. Uh, we can go ahead and graze those in our grazing pattern. And these orange pastures, uh, we have identified that we need to get in there and probably prioritize those in our grazing pattern uh, so we can get them grazed down. Coming back over here to the data layers, uh, you can change those numbers um, at any time uh, for different scenarios as you need. You can also change the color have the rainbow of colors available there to suit your color needs and you can also make this view your default so that when you log into pasture map this will be the first thing that you see and you can get to making decisions quickly so that's how you use the recovery days data that is in the system tracking along while you're moving your cattle around the system is uh, the background math is keeping track of all that for you and you get to use it right away and see it visually which is really handy so visit pasturemap.com try your free trial today if you haven't already also visit us at regenstewardship.com r-e-g-e-n stewardship.com or on facebook at facebook.com slash regenstewardship thanks for watching please let us know if you have any questions or comments we'll be happy to help you out talk to you soon thanks